Bob West, and welcome to another edition of Studio 7. And I want to talk about a World War II movie this time. That's right, we're going to talk about a movie called Kelly's Heroes. And the reason why we're going to talk about Kelly's Heroes is not only is it one of those great movies that everybody passes by because it's either too loud or it's too long or it has, or whatever the reason is, but this is another one of those seven out of seven movies. That's right. It is a definitely seven out of seven World War II movie. It's an action movie and a comedy all at the same time. Why is that? The cast is outstanding. There is of the time everybody that you'd want to have in a war movie of this kind. You have Clint Eastwood. You have Telly Savalas. You have Don Rickles. You have Carol O'Connor. And you have Donald Sutherland. But it doesn't end there because you also have Harry Dean Stanton and you have Gavin McLeod, and you have Stuart Mar Margolin. And you're looking around, and you're going, man, I know all these guys. That's because if you ever watch The Rockford Files, or The Love Boat, or uh, Lou Grant, or All in the Family, or any of these shows that were done in reruns from the 1970s or into the 1980s, or if you've seen Trouble with the Curb, you know all these people. You've seen all these people, and they're all gathered in one room, as the saying goes to do one of the most outstanding behind-the-lines movies of World War II. You know something, Kelly? I think you're crazy. Better yet, I think I'm crazy. How the hell I ever let you talk these guys into this? Push 30 miles behind enemy lines, take a bridge held by Germans, and then go into a town that we don't know how many German soldiers are guarding. Well, I figure there's between 30 and 40 troops in that town. All right. How'd you figure that? Well, uh, it's of no military importance. It's not big enough for a garrison. You still didn't answer the question, Kelly. How'd you figure 30 or 40 men? Because that's the normal amount of support for three Tiger tanks. Tigers? Where the hell did Tigers come from? Well, that's why we have Oddball and his Shermans. Does he know about the Tigers? Not yet, no. You bet your sweet ass he doesn't. Or he'd still be on that funny farm of his. It's got tanks, it's got the language, it's got the action, it's got gold. It's got everything you want in a bank robbery. If you've ever seen the movie Three Kings, which was not that good, probably because George Clooney was in it, you need to see Kelly's Heroes. It's about two hours and eight minutes long. It's done in Yugoslavia. It is a spaghetti World War II movie. It is excellent. It is worth the time. Screw going to the theater. Find it on download. Stay home. Get a bunch of friends together. Get high. Get drunk. Get, do whatever it is that you want to do. But watch this movie because it's a great movie. And it's a great time period study. The music is excellent. There's even a song by the Mike Curb con Congregation called Burning Bridges that becomes famous in this movie. And it's still played over and over and over again. And the scenes in this movie and Donald Sutherland's performance as Oddball is nothing to be missed. This is a great movie. Kelly's Heroes is a 7 out of 7 movie. Don't miss it. For Studio 7, I'm Bob West. You're on YouTube West. Thank you very much.